Hey, it's Kevin DeWitt here. Welcome to another plugin knowledge session. In this session, we're going to check out another plugin from Isotope. This has uh, just recently come out as a free download, and it's uh, vo called Vocal Doubler. So, one common technique in uh, mixing and recording is to double vocals up. You know, it obviously adds extra layers, uh, a bit more meat to your vocals and a bit more power and a little bit more interest and you can vary it up from verse can be quite raw with a single vocal to double up or even more uh, layers in choruses and etc so obviously the best way to do this and still the most recommended way is to actually do it for real and record multiple passes of your vocal takes and then layer them on top of each other but there's occasions where you either can't do that or you're doing this after the recording's been finished. You, you know, you're the mix engineer. You don't have another take. You weren't provided one and you'd really like to double it up. So there's lots of doubling tools on the market. I've done some reviews of other ones in the past and this time, you know, Ozotope just came out with this one, uh, got emailed to me today to say download it. It's free. So uh, I thought it was worth checking out. It looks like a very simple layout and very simple process. So let's just get straight into it and uh, see what the Isotope Vocal Doubler does. Okay, so here we have the interface and I've just got it at the moment. I'm going to show you this two ways because at the moment I've got this placed on the actual vocal track itself. And this vocal track is actually just a mono track. Now I've got some of the effects turned off that I had on there, like delays, that sort of thing, just to make the plugin stand out a little bit more. I've got some other processing on here, but that's not really going to get in the way because I'm putting the vocal doubler after all of that. So you can see the interface is very simple. I've got this vocal tips button, which just opens a, a web page on Isotope's site to give you some tips. You can bypass the plugin. Obviously I can bypass it at Cubase level as well. We have a little separation value here and a variation and that can be controlled either from down here or on the actual graph itself. You can click this box and listen to the effect only. So no dry signal, just the effect. And you can also mix. So, you know, if you go to zero, that's totally dry, no effect. And anywhere in between, up to 100%, which is full effect. So if we bypass the vocal, this is what we have now. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin. Okay, so let's bring it in. We've got our, all our settings at the moment are set to zero, but all the effect on. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin. So even with the variation and the separation set to zero, the effect is already doing something. So I'll just bypass it while we're playing. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do so effect is only, that's what it sounds like. And hold you close. Oh, so close. Let's try. To my heart. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. Now, because I've got this on a mono track, the first setting separation will actually do nothing. So as I said, you can adjust it from here, but you can also just drag this little circle and pulling it out or in determines the separation. Dragging it around determines the variation. So I assume the variation means how much sort of pitch shift or uh, that sort of effect it's having compared to the original. And you can obviously switch quite quickly from 100% separation, zero variation to 100% separation, 100% variation, just by flicking across to the other side. You can also go to 100% variation with zero separation. 
Now, as I said, I'll show you, but the separation is really going to do nothing if you place it on a mono track. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin. But what will obviously have an effect is variation. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I suck. So you can hear the double sort of stands out a lot more when we go to a full variation there. So obviously if we go in between, we have less. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close to my heart. So what if we go and turn this one off and let's go and put it actually on the stereo track. Now, I could put the vocal onto a stereo track, but just the simplest form for me to do it right now is this vocal is going to a bus and that is a stereo bus. So if I just place the plug in on there, I'm achieving the same thing because the vocal is feeding into the bus and then I've got the plug in actually on the bus. All right, so now we have it on the on uh, the main vocal bus. So we're now using it in stereo mode. And first off, I'll leave the settings at zero and just bring it uh, in and out. All I wanna do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin. Okay, so now if we play with the variation again, but keep it at zero, separation we should get the same effect all we had before okay but what happens now when we start using the separation so this is where we're going to start hearing the stereo effect come into play all i want to do is hold you that's all i want to do I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close to my heart. So with 0% variation, we get not an obvious doubling effect as such, but we use it as a, a bit of a widening tool there. You know, there's obviously a little bit of effect on it because, you know, even when we had it at zero here, you can tell there's a slight chorusing effect going on. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. Then we feel that. that. is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close to my heart. So let's just bypass it with full 100% separation, 100% variation. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close to my... So when we put the effect only on, we are just listening to the actual effect itself. And that's obviously more apparent in this situation here where we've got on the stereo effect because we're hearing what's in the left and right ear only. We're not hearing what was down the center, which is obviously the original vocal. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. So if you really, I guess, to use the plug-in probably not what it was intended for. But if you wanted an instant way to create a vocal effect where you are basically making it go left and right, doubled, with nothing in the center, just split separation apart, 
you could use this exact setting here with 100% separation, 100% variation and have effect only and use it that way. Now, obviously, that's technically not what was intended of it, but, you know, maybe they did think of doing it this way. That's maybe why it's there, uh, but you can obviously do that. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. So we go from that. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you. So just a stereo pan of that vocal track. So... That's definitely something that I'll be keeping in the back of my mind going forward, a very quick way of, of doing a duplicate there left and right and keeping them quite separate from the mix. Now, obviously, the intention was to actually bring the effect in, uh, the dry in as well. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body. Now, if we wanted to blend. Next to mine. All I want to do is love you. And hold you close, oh, I'm so close to my heart, yeah. So the amount seems to be very subtle. Let me see if we can pick it up with the bypass because that makes it a lot more obvious doing it that way. All I want to do is hold you, that's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close to my heart, yeah. So it seems anything below 50% is very hard to hear. Even when we do the bypass and unbypass, it's very hard to pick it up. So this little control here, I'm not sure if it's working 100% right or there's a slight bug in it, but it doesn't seem to be responding to the range as much as I would have thought would have been the case. It seems to be nothing, 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 nothing all the way up to, you know, about 70% and then suddenly it kicks in. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I'm so close. But obviously in this range here, there is a bit of movement there. So, you know, if we want it to be a little bit subtler, then we can drop it down to 80%. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you and hold you close. Oh, I so all I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. It's, it's funny, though. Um, the first thing I hear as soon as, especially with this vocal part from this guy that's singing, as soon as I put this effect on and I have a fair bit of the variation, the first thing I think of, and it depends if you're uh, used to listening to his music, but the first thing I listen to uh, hear is Ozzy Osbourne. So clearly to me, this is an effect that was used, not obviously this plug-in, but this style of effect was used very widely on his vocals because... I guess he didn't have necessarily a fantastic voice all the time, very thin, and needed a little bit of enhancement. So they probably did a lot of doubling on his vocals all the time. And this plugin is really giving it, especially on this vocal right here in this track. All I want to do is hold you. That's all I want to do. I feel your body, your skin next to mine. All I want to do is love you. So that's what it sounds like there. So I guess, uh, all right, let's just mute some backing parts here. All right, and we'll keep it in stereo. I'll, I'll just adjust the settings as playing. So if we put it into the actual song now. So 
just turn that up a little bit because I did have another vocal track there. So obviously there's a big impact there to the vocal, depending on what sort of effect you're going for, where you want to. Obviously you don't need to play it through the entire song. You can pick and choose certain parts. As I said, you can uh, even automate this plugin to come in and out for certain words. So for instance, just to manually do that, we could just use the bypass control to get that. So it could be an interesting effect to do on rap, um, that sort of stuff, you know, where you want to um, bring out certain words, you can just automate this plugin to come on and off uh, to, to hit those words that you would normally double with um, doing ad libs and that sort of stuff as you go through the various passes. So there you go, there's the Isotope Vocal Doubler. Go and grab a copy of it. It is entirely free. All you need to do is obviously provide an email address, some details to Isotope. And if you're happy to give that way, that information away, then you will get a free copy of this and you can use it on your next song. So uh, go and check it out. Let me know what you think. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, or if you would like to uh, voice your opinion of whether you like using these sort of tools and what you think of the isotope version compared to other ones please let me know and uh yeah i'd love to uh chat about it so hopefully it's been helpful thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one